In this tutorial, we'll just take a quick look at the uh, at volumetric rendering, and that, I applied that to these clouds in the scene. Now, this is an old uh, design that I had done, and the, uh, normally, if I was going to do this in modern days, I would actually use cycles rendering to render this scene because to make this scene work, you have to add a lot of lights. In fact, let's take a look at the scene. I have light there. I have lights here. Lights here. Lights here. Lights. Look at that. There's lights everywhere, and this is nothing. You should see some of the other scenes that I've used. I have lights everywhere to try and you know kill the dark shadows that you would get in blender render and you know and you can get some pretty cool effects with it but the cycles render is really powerful and so I'm gonna eventually lean towards that but as far as the clouds are concerned these are kind of just rough approximations of clouds you can see here that I don't I forget what I was doing on it it was probably just some uh, it was probably a cube turned into a with a no look at that it was actually a sphere in that case but uh, normally instead of using a sphere in the scene I would have been better off using you know uh, like this you add a cube to the scene and and then you go get a um, a modifier and you get this multi-resolution modifier like this and then you subdivide it like that and that would have been better off working with that but that's in that way you can grab these edge loops in all directions and then you don't have those weird anomalies at the top of the cloud like you have in this one there right it looks okay from the perspective that I was looking at the camera with but otherwise no but the volumetric rendering is cool because you you could try and use uh, the smoke system to make clouds and that works really well I've seen really nice examples of that but then you're a little bit constrained about the side the shape of the object as far as uh, and its placement and things like that and it's not nearly as fast so when I, f I just render this scene real quick so it renders pretty quickly and what if we look closely at the cloud it does a pretty good job so if we if we go into the rendering tab and just look and instead of having your uh, button set up here this is your material tab I meant instead of having it set at surface just change it over to volume and then you can just take a look at these settings and try these settings as far as changing the density and the emission are the most important settings I recall on setting this and then also make sure it's set to ray trace because if we have it set to Z transparency I forget on this one it was pretty bad no nah, it still does a okay good job on the on the clouds but it's still not quite as nice and then uh, so you get some pretty nice effects let's re-render it again and let's see and that's pretty fast rendering and the other thing that really comes into play on this scene is when you t for the background. Now notice I have this blended sky background so if I just turn this to a nice blue color of some sort it can make a huge difference in the the way the cloud looks right and also sometimes I'll just turn it into forget the blend sky let's just turn it into a dark you know stormy looking cloud let's see let's see what that one does Oh, and then they kind of look stormy. In this case, they would actually look better if I had a lot more uh, faces on the surface. But you get some pretty good effects with it, and the key is it's it's fast, right? So uh, you might consider using it. In fact, if you look at some of my other tutorials, what the one on the cartoon bottle that was flipped over a pouring liquid, I use volumetric shading within that tutorial as well. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to point that out for this particular lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.